used to actually debate with Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu to try and prove their gross belief. Um, and so from here we can see that um, they actually made kinship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They believe just because Allah is entitled to worship, because he has children, um, the children are also entitled to worship just like a king. Uh, there, there might be a king and he's entitled to respect because he's the king. And uh, because if he has a son, the prince is uh, hereditarily you know, he, he, he inherits the right to be also revered and respected. Mm-hmm. And in the same way, they would think Allah is the king. And because Allah has children, they are also entitled to be worshipped and respected. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. So, um, so gross, so disgusting is this belief, yet so easily is the word shirk rolling off the tongues of people like Saadia to describe small, small actions of other Muslims. One final point to actually come to the answer of Sister Daiba's question, um, which is basically what was the supposed in- input uh, to, to, to make them um, to qualify, to as qualify them as partners, is that the Mushrikeen of Makkah used to believe that the partners of God actually contributed to the creation and the, sust- uh, the creation of the world and sustaining and maintaining the world. And this is what they believe. They believe this is how they contributed um, to the creation of the world and therefore were entitled to be partners of God and therefore entitled to be worshipped. This is the lengthy, deep, weighty definition of shirk um, that people need to try and understand. Mm. Um, SubhanAllah, uh, this is all new for me um, and I'm actually rather amazed um, at the weighty definition um, and the true meaning of the word shirk which you have just um, presented, Sister uh, Memo now. Um, but one thing um, that has really um, drawn me to what you've just said is the fact that the, um, the, the polytheists actually openly admitted that they associated partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay. um, and, and this practice in itself is, is obviously um, an open declaration that, 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 that they you know, were, were committing shirk. I mean, for me personally, this explanation of partnership makes perfect sense, um, practically it makes sense um, and, 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 and I follow the um, you, you, you know your trail of thought. And I think I finally understand what what shirk means. Now, as, you, as the evidence that you've just presented has, has made me um, think of, of, of another piece of evidence which which I've brought along with me today, um, and it brings to mind uh, the notion of the Trinity. Mm-hmm. 